Dave Parody here with another slide makeover video podcast based on the ideas in my book, The Visual Slide Revolution. Today we're going to take a look at a slide that um, really is, is speaker notes and, and the speaker notes that went along with it. Let me show you this slide. So this is, uh, it's based on a slide that someone had sent me to say, Dave, what, what can we do? And I was looking at it and really when you look at it, uh, this falls into the category that I call speaker notes because really all this text here is reference material for the speaker. It's it's not something that is helpful to the audience because they're simply reading it as the speaker reads it to them. The question is how do we make it visual? And what I do is I always, and this is the second step in my five step quick method in the book, is I look at the words to find clues that tell me what a visual might be. And indeed in this case down below the people who had created this presentation wrote out some notes for the speaker and one of them they said was, uh, speaker, um, when you're describing this, talk about there are five buckets that somebody could put their secure assets into. And I thought, ah, click. They're using an analogy, a bucket that you put the, the this particular type of asset into. Why don't we use that as a visual? And see, we need to look for these clues that exist in the words that we say and sometimes that's in the speaker notes section under the slide or the words that are on the slide because a lot of this is just simply reference information we should put this in a handout and say to people we're going to talk about it this is for you to refer to later on when you're making the decision about this asset category so here's a slide that I created very simple which bucket is right for your secure asset allocation so for that portion of your assets in an investment scenario which you want to be very secure there's some different buckets you should consider. First of all, cash, just keep it in cash. And then we can talk about the advantages and disadvantages. We don't need to write them out like it was on the previous slide. We can just talk about it. Then we can talk about savings accounts, GICs, term deposits, and high interest savings accounts, a type, specific type of account. So now once we build each one of those, we can talk about each of the advantages and disadvantages and the audience has that table to refer to when they want to make that decision later on or further discussions that we're going to have to them. So it, we, we can look for the visual in what we're going to say about that particular slide. Instead of putting all your notes on the slide, use visuals instead. So before we get to the lessons that we can learn, uh, if you want more information on the book, go to www.visualslideRevolution.com. More information on my training, consulting, uh, videos, and other things, go to www.thinkoutsidetheslide.com. So our lessons to convert speaker notes, which is really what that slide was, into a visual. Look for what the analogies are. Now in this case, they were actually in the notes that were given to the speaker. It could be in the words that you have written in your headline for the slide, and it could be in the words... Uh, that you actually have heard yourself speak. So look for those clues, the analogies uh, that give you that idea of what the visual could be for this particular slide. And then one of the things you want to do is to cut down the text. You notice that in the original slide there was a lot of explanatory text. Put that in the handout. On the slide, cut it down to just what the key ideas were in here. It was just simply the five types of accounts that people needed to be familiar with. Well, you have a lot of detail information that you want to leave with the audience. Great. Put that in a separate handout. Okay, you want them to have the notes. That's fine. That's perfectly okay. But put it in a separate handout. Give it to them so that they have it for reference material. Because that's really all it is. It's not uh, everything you want to say thrown up on a slide because then you're going to start reading it. And we know from the research that's the most annoying thing you can do for the audience. And finally, use build animation. The reason build animation is so powerful, especially in this case, is that you get to uh, talk about each type of account separately. When you throw that whole table up on the slide, it's many seconds, probably 10 or 15 seconds at least before anybody's listening to you because they're reading everything and then they're constantly going back and forth to find out what point you're on, what are you talking about. Instead, use build animation. Build it one by one allows you to explain it much easier for the audience. So it's another slide makeover video podcast and some ideas that you can use to help improve the effectiveness of your presentations. This has been Dave Parody.